Hey everyone, welcome back to Beekeeping with Natalie, or welcome to if you are new. Today we're going to be focusing on a couple different things, but mostly just on feeding. So I've got a couple different feeding ways that we're going to test out today, or just kind of show you how we do it. We're going to do bucket feeding, and then we're also going to do some frame feeding. Uh, the frame feeders are in this bottom box here. But we are basically in a dearth right now, and so they need food really quickly. And also, all of our supers in this yard have been taken off, every single one of them. There's no supers over here. And so we can feed now. You don't want to feed with supers on because there's a chance that they could put that syrup up in the super and then you'll have funny honey and you don't want that. And so all the supers are taken off and we can feed them now. And so we are going to do that and show you how we do it. The reason why we're doing this so quickly is because they really need it. And we want to make sure that we are building up building them up now because we want them to go into winter super strong and we want to do most of our hives as double deeps into winter. It's just better that way. They come out of winter a lot stronger. There's a better chance of them making through winter. Um, the bugs are super loud today. I don't know why. It was completely quiet and then we started filming. So sorry if you can hear it. Hopefully you can't. Hopefully the mics are doing good. But anyways, um, we will have some singles though because it's just how it ends up working out. They're better in singles than in a double deep if they're not strong enough because there's a lot more space for them to take care of that they're not always able to take care of. So they will be stronger in a single, some of them will. So we'll do that, but we're gonna try and get most of them into double deeps and so that's what we're gonna do today and we'll feed them and all that. So let's go ahead and get started. I've got some four-way pallets here that we are going to do bucket feeding on. And I'm gonna switch out the lids. Uh, these lids are not bucket lids. If you don't have these, so this is what we'll use for our buckets. There's a hole right here that's meant for the bucket. If you don't have the lids like these, what you can do is take your box, an inner cover, and then the bucket, and then another box, and then the lid. So uh, I have a video on it somewhere. I'm not sure where it is. I don't know if the title says buckets on it, Anyway, that's how you could do it if you don't have these lids, but we're gonna go ahead and switch them out because we do have these. And then the ones that we don't wanna do buckets on, we'll use these lids for. So anyway, hopefully that makes sense a little bit. But these are four-way pallets, and I really like these because it provides four different bottom boards on one pallet, basically. So you don't have to get a bunch of individual bottom boards. I don't know, I like it, I think they're good, and we only have two of them so far, but so far they've been really nice. We're running really low on bottom boards, so we need to get some more of those. We did just make some and then wax dip them, but the day we wax dipped them, they got put on hives. That's how badly we needed them. So anyways, let's go ahead and check this one, see how they're looking. I'm gonna take this lid off. They're all super mean because we're in a dearth, and so, they don't have any food and I mean, come on, when we're all hungry, we're not very happy. So same thing with the bees. So smoke them a little bit. Yesterday was a fun day pulling all the supers and they weren't super happy about that. But let's go ahead and we don't technically need to check them, but I'll pull out a frame just to see if she's laying and everything. Cause we've had supers on for so long and we just haven't checked them to see if there's even a queen. So I'll just pull a frame out, see if there's eggs, and then that's all I need to do. All right, this one looks really good. She's chucked this full of eggs and the brood is emerging and she's filling it right back up. So that's great. And I was gonna talk a little bit about single brood management but let's go ahead and fill this or finish this one up and then i'll kind of talk about that a little bit these weren't single brood these were actually splits that we made but the ones that are in single brood we we'll want to make sure that we definitely add boxes to because we just pulled all those supers off and they don't have any space right now so they definitely need another box if you have the chance to pull the supers and then put the box right back on that's great too but anyways this is just a box here that is but just foundation pretty much except for one frame here that I have a comb frame we are running low on comb it's kind of just a 
if you find some, use it. We really don't have any that's like organized out that we can grab. It's just whatever you find. But the rest of this is foundation. These are nice wax tip boxes, so they look good. And these are actually wax tipped also. So we'll go ahead and put this on. We'll put it right on top. Some people will pull some brood up and you totally can. We've done that before, but it's just a lot easier and quicker this way if we just put the box right on. And then we're gonna switch the lids out. So I'll just put this one right back on. Put it on top here. And then now we get to put the bucket on. There is a few bees right here. So I'll just shake this at the entrance that way that they will go inside there. And then I can use this now for another hive that we're not gonna do buckets on. Okay, so I've got the buckets right here filled and ready to go. They're pretty full because they really need it. We wanna make sure that we're really building them up now because we want them to be super strong going into winter. So it's really important that we feed them a lot. We're gonna be feeding a lot more and feeding a lot basically because we want them to be strong. And also we will have a little bit of a flow actually. It'll be a couple days probably. It's our soybean. It's blooming really late but I think that they'll get a little bit from it. So that's exciting. It should start blooming in the next couple days and the bees should get something from it. And you could get a crop off of it for you, but we wanna give this to the bees instead of taking it for us. So let's go ahead and put this on now though. We just basically put it on the hole right there and that looks about right. So that's it, this one's done. And I did want to we can do one more. It's the same thing that I just did. We'll just open this one up and check also to see. Um, let's talk about bro single brood management, sorry. Uh, I won't get too in detail with it. We did do a little bit of it though this year, just a couple hives, well, not a couple, a few of them. We did more last year, kind of deciding if we liked it. And I'm not a super big fan of it. It's a good way to fill supers but there's a lot of like little things that get in the way and enough to the point where just I don't really enjoy it a whole lot. I know a lot of people that do it and like it. For me one of the biggest things that I noticed like yesterday while we were pulling a bunch of supers is that they'll have like four supers and one brood box and so by the time you're pulling that last super they don't really have anywhere to go so they're all on the outside of the super and on the inside and so it just it's really hard to pull the honey when there's like no bees in there. We're still trying to figure out a good way to pull our honey to get all the bees out of it. Anyway, that's a little bit about the single brood. There's a couple other things, but anyway, if you enjoy it, that's great. Um, another thing, this one looks great. Uh, these were all splits. I think I already mentioned that, but I did want to say that again. We had a split over there that was a two frame and it actually made honey this year, which is crazy. It's really exciting. It made a good amount too. It was actually single brood. Also, um, I'm really, really sorry about not getting the giveaway ready yet. I said I was gonna do it after I did a Corey Stevens video and here we are and I haven't done it yet, but I promise I'll get it out as soon as I can. We've got a lot of really cool, exciting stuff coming up and we've got a lot of fun videos and things like that that we're working on, but I will do my best to get that video out really quickly. It's not super difficult. I just haven't gone around to posting it or making the video, but it'll be out really soon. So let's just see if the queen is laying. This is a good patch of brood. So she's got eggs all around here. Single brood is another way that's um, a little bit more difficult with like swarming. And I don't like swarming. It's not fun to handle, but they're ready for another box. So I'll just come over here. Sorry, there's a lot of movement right now. I tried to prepare this video as much as I could, but they never go as planned anyways. Okay, just put this box right back on top and then our another, our new lid here. This one is the exact same as I just put on. It's just got a comb frame in there and then the rest of it is foundation. 
And now we gotta put our buckets on. You can get these buckets at a lot of different places. I know Greg Burns sells them, I believe. Is that right? Yeah. And so you can get them from him. Uh, so we'll just dump this right on top. And now we're gonna do frame feeding, which is, bucket feeding is a little bit newer to us. We might have started it just last year, actually. But that's all right, we're kind of just ex sharing our experience here. Um, I'll just shake these bees here. But we like bucket feeding. I think it's a good way to do it because it's really simple and easy. I haven't found too many bad things about it. I, it seems like a lot of people have problems with like them getting knocked over, but when they're full, I don't know if that's a problem or not, but I don't really know yet because we haven't really used them a whole lot, but so far I really like them. We've used frame feeders pretty much all season that we've done beekeeping, every season. And I really like them. The only thing about them is that they take up space for another frame, actually two frames, I believe. Yeah. So that's the only thing about frame feeders. Other than that, I really do like them. A lot of people talk about draining pro or like, sorry, drowning problems. I don't see a whole lot of problems with it. If you just put a couple sticks in there, they seem to be good. There is the ladders that you can buy and we've tried those, but they're just a little difficult and I don't like them a whole lot. It doesn't seem to help too, but that might just be Arby's. I don't know, um, but they're difficult to like see where the syrup's at. See if there's bees down in there, things like that. I just don't really like the ladders a whole lot. But if they work for you, that's great. And so over here is our frame feeder. It's ready to go. So this is the exact same kind of box. It's got the drawn comb and foundation. The only thing we added here is the frame feeder. There's no sticks in it, but I'll make sure to put those in. I think like a frame feeder is not super great for like a really weak hive that just can't handle that. It's not great for that one, but like strong hives like these, they seem to be really good with them. And we'll go ahead and just open this one up. This one's kind of a mess right now. It's got a an apame, is that an apame bottom? Yeah, I believe it is, um, for pollen trapping. Cause we were gonna do pollen trapping and then we never ended up doing it. So that's all right. Um, you can still use the bottom board we just, we're gonna use it for pollen trapping. We just didn't get around to that. But this one looks great. It looks like it's nice and full. Um, but when you're back to like the frame feeding, if you need to feed a hive that is weak, I think the Ziploc feeding is a good way to do that. Cause that's what we did with most of our nukes. Cause we did use frame feeders for our nukes like a couple years ago. And there was a lot of drowning for that. But since we used Ziplocs this year, it seemed to work really well. And our nukes have done really well this year. This is a good patch of brood also. Looks like there's some burr comb down in there. But that's all right, she also laid in that. So we want to make sure that she is not on the bottom there, just so I don't crush her or anything. I don't think she's down here. Yeah, so here's the brood. Looks good. It's nice and laid up, so that's always good. I could change out the bottom board, but I'm not going to. So I'm not sure exactly where to get a bottom board. I don't know if we have any. I think we do. Just don't worry, know where it's at. Okay, and then we'll put this frame feeder here. One of the little things that you can do if you're like, if you're doing frame feeders for a pallet, what you can do is put them like all of the frame feeders in the middle here. And so when you go to feed it, you just have to move really quickly in easy spots. That's just random, um, but it's a small thing you can do to make it just a little bit faster. If you're not a commercial beekeeper or anything like that, it's not that big of a deal. So anyways, we'll go ahead and fill this up with syrup. So here's how the frame feeders work. A lot of people use these. Just fill it up. We're filling it up all the way because they really need it. And then just grab some sticks here. You can 
you can make certain things for the feeders for them to land on or for them to stand on while they're getting the syrup. But I think the sticks is just an easy way right, right now. There we go. And then we can just put the lid back on. And that is ready to go. So that one's also pretty easy. I think the frame feeders and the bucket feeders are two really good ways to go. You can also do open feeding, which I think we are doing a little bit, but it's not a great way for those small hives that can't get to it super easily. And um, yeah, I think that's pretty much it. We're gonna continue. I'm gonna add some more frame feeders to these boxes. I'm gonna just put a bunch of boxes on all of these and then we'll fill them all up with syrup. I'll finish these ones up too, make sure that I feed them with buckets. And I think that's pretty much it. So we'll definitely do our giveaway video really soon. We've got some other videos that are exciting that's coming up. And yeah, I think that's pretty much it. So thanks for watching. Follow along for more bee adventures and be here next time on Beekeeping with Natalie.